So, HGTV, I watch you a lot. I have some questions. How can two 20-somethings afford an all-in budget of $300,000? Talking to you, Fixer Upper. What's the entry-level job uh, salary in Waco? I want to know that right now because I'd like move there. $300,000 all-in. Help wanted. Must be able to handle plutonium with your bare hands. How can these married couples work together all the time on home improvements and not feel, what's the word, murdery? I'm not kidding about that. I once threatened to stab my husband with a fork over the installation of a dimmer switch in the dining room. It was that heated. Yeah. Is everyone in America in a position to buy an island? I used to think the demographic for island purchasing was like Richard Branson. Sure, I'm going to buy this island. Heck, throw another island in there. And a plane. I got to get there. So there's tiny house. Tiny house jamboree. Tiny house builder. How many tiny house shows are there? Like, not a tiny amount. All right, Hillary Farr from Love It or List It. What are you doing to look so good? Seriously, she was in Rocky Horror Picture Show in 1975 as an adult. In 1975, I was five, but I looked like I could be her mother. When is Rehab Addict on? Can you give Joan Stefan a show again? I miss her. I feel like Joanna Gaines is popcorn ceiling shaming me. Well, guess what? Popcorn ceiling's gonna come back around again in like 2030. On HGTV, young couples are going to rip away the tin and the shiplap, and they're going to see popcorn ceiling up there. Yay! So my plan is to just leave the popcorn ceiling because it's going to it's gonna be worth something. It'll be kind of a gift to my grandchildren. You know, it's their inheritance. Popcorn ceiling as far as the eye can see. Grandma, why are there barn doors on the inside of your house? You live in the suburbs. Why, that's just what we did, kids. Popcorn, Timmy, Shaming. Popcorn, Timmy, Shaming. Popcorn, Timmy, Shaming. Try it again.